うつぅー Day 6, everyone. My statin. Day 6. Um, if you're in、uh, Seattle right now,、uh, we're gearing up for the、uh, windstorm apocalypse.、Um, that's going to be really exciting.、Um, I really actually、uh, I like storms.、Uh, kind of a fitting metaphor for my life right now. Um, everything feels like it's、uh, spinning out of control. And、um, thankfully, now that I'm on a diet、uh, with no sugar and no alcohol,、um, I have absolutely no chemical way to、um, suppress myself. So, feeling it a thousand percent, emotions at a thousand percent.、Um, in terms of my statin,、um, still, still a little sore, but I think my body's getting used to it.、Um, The hardest thing I've found is、uh, sleeping because of the body aches. And、um, so I ended up just taking Advil. And、uh, baths work pretty well, but I'm getting a little tired of taking baths, a little tired of water,、um, a little tired of being、uh, <laughs> surrounded by warm water in a comfortable tub with a laptop, listening to other things. That's in first world. First with the problems. Anyway,、um, so one of the things I have changed now that it's on day six, where I'm getting close to the halfway point, is that、uh, I ended up buying some, some frozen blueberries,、um, frozen raspberries. I got some Greek yogurt. Now, the, the whole idea is to avoid any sugar, none. And living in the modern American age, it's impossible. Everything has sugar, everything. Even the condiments, ketchup, garlic salt, everything has sugar.、Um, so, but I thought, hey, little berries, you know, if you take a, a little handful of blueberries, a little handful of raspberries, throw them in a little blender, you know, mix in some Greek yogurt and、uh, a little lime, and you're fine.、Uh, well, I was talking to a good friend of mine, and she pointed out that it's just like, you just gotta go all the way, man. You gotta go all the way. You gotta. Snuff it out. And the whole idea of、uh, the candida is to starve the fungus at its root point, which is, which is sugar, apparently. So,、um, so I thought, well, let's have like one a day. I'm just going to have one. You know, it's like a drug addict. You know, I swear to God, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to everything. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter what it is.、Um, I'm just gonna have one, just have one little fruit juice thing, you know? And, and, I, and I can see, and you might see in your own life, the things that you become addicted to, you just sort of make reasons why you should have those things. And、uh, I was like, I need the fiber, it's fruit. You know, two or three websites said that blueberries and raspberries are fine. They said it was fine, man. And other websites are like, eh, it's got a high glycemic index. Which means it、uh, converts to glucose quicker in your system, which is bad because my glucose is high. Anyway, so it's funny how you, you'll find reasons. And what it feels like, to be honest, what it feels like is,、um, you know, I have like a fungus, like an alien in my body, right? And it needs food. And because everything's connected, I don't know if you knew this, but you actually、um, you make a lot of serotonin in your intestines. And、um, that's believed to be part of your, your mood、um, stabilization chemicals.、Um, serotonin, I believe, is also it's,、uh, made in the brain.、Um, anyway, so the idea being, I totally lost my train of thought. It's hard. You have to, you guys, I don't know if you try to make videos, it's a pain in the ass. You have to like, write stuff down. I realized I should write stuff down now. Um, the, uh, the point being, everything that we eat is a habit, right? Everything you crave is likely due because your body needs something. Like, you know, I'm craving peanut butter and chocolate ice cream, not because it has like fiber in it, but because I want the sugar, you know, I want that rush. Plus, I mean, obviously, your, your, your taste buds are a big factor. But,、um, you know, Penn、uh, Teller, you know, the, the Penn and, Penn and Teller? Penn, I can't remember his last name. 
Uh, but this guy, I'll, I'll put the link in the notes, but this guy went on a potato diet where all he ate was potatoes for like two weeks. And um, he essentially, he reset his taste buds. And what I hear more often than not is when you quit sugar, once you, once you try to don it, I don't know how long it takes. Everybody's bi biology is different, of course. But once you quit sugar and then you try, like, say, your regular diet, it's just not the same. You can, you can never go back. Now, you can. You get yourself adapted to sugar real quick because it's like cocaine because it's delicious. I want to donut. it. I want to donut it so bad. Anyway, the idea, what I realize now, after trying my fruit drink, um, is that I need to have no sugar, nothing. So what I'm doing is eating eggs and salad. Uh, some lettuce and some cucumbers apparently are good. And part of this process is, right, that we're all trying to do something good for ourselves to change our lives, to get better. So, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Guess what that is? Guess what that is, everybody? My urine. Just kidding. It's uh, homemade salad dressing. So it's a little uh, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, some garlic, um, some other ingredients I never buy because I don't bake stuff. And um, what is with, why are the ingredients so expensive? Why is it $9? It's like $9 for a little jar of thing. I don't understand. Anyway, um, I shouldn't complain because it's apparently it's good for me. Anyway, um, so it turned out pretty good, right? It looks legit. It doesn't look bad, you know? Yeah, it does. It looks horrible. Uh, but apparently there's no there's no sugar in it. So um, did it taste good? No, no, not really. Um, but did I get used to it? Absolutely I got used to it because, you know, when I was thinking about the salad dressing I used to buy, loaded with sugar. That's all it was. I think I, think I used to buy, I used to eat salads so I could have the dressing. It's not the other way around, you know? Because we get so used to the taste of things. We want the spike, the dopamine hit. Um, if you're not familiar, and I'll post this too, uh, the description, but there's a documentary called Fed Up, which is phenomenal in terms of how it frames how much sugar we actually eat. Um, and go ahead right now, go grab any box of Triscuits, any sort of product you have that has a nutrition label and um, notice that there's absolutely no percentage of its daily value. And according to the documentary, um, this is in part because people, if they realized how much sugar they were consuming, it's like 600, 700 times the, the daily allowable or the daily recommended percentage. Um, you know, I'm not saying sugar's bad, like we need that. Um, I guess my body just became out of whack, uh, went out of balance, um, which makes me sad because uh, not having sugar is tough. It's basically like cocaine. Um, and basically, just like storms, they're kind of scary. This one might be nuts. Hopefully no trees fall in the house. Um, and but a storm is change right to me it is change i love it i love the electrical feeling and the power that a remnant of a typhoon all the way across the world can have all the way over here and um i always thought a good analogy was you know um a storm or at least a good wind storm just blows the crap out of trees blows the shit out of trees and what does it do it takes away all the dead stuff you know, it's like a purge, uh, a pruning, if you will. So I thought that would be um, a good analogy. Anyway, uh, so tomorrow I'll show you the procedure of the nystatin. And um, just for fun, um, I thought I would film my salad dressing. Because if you film something, it always looks amazing. So enjoy. And I hope everybody uh, survives the storm. Should be a good one. Have your candles and your, uh, your flashlights handy. It should be a fun one. We'll uh, catch up tomorrow. Bye.